In this video, we are going to discuss the rules for doing block diagram production. So, in this question, there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 blocks are there. These 4 blocks can be converted into a single block. That means a complex diagram can be converted into a simple diagram. From that diagram, we can find the overall transfer function of the system. What is transfer function? Output by input. Output by input. Before doing block diagram reduction, you need to know some rules for doing block diagram reduction. Starting with rule number one, combining blocks in cascade. If two blocks are there in series, suppose think that I am going to give an input A. Then A multiplied by G1, it is going to be A G1. Then A G1 multiplied by G2, it is going to be A G1 G2. So when I give an input A, my output is A G1 G2. If two blocks are in series, we can combine them by multiplying them. Okay. So if I am going to give the same input A, then what will be the output I am going to get? A multiplied by this block. This block it is G1, G2. A multiplied with that, we will get A, G1, G2. We are getting the same output. If two blocks are in series, just multiply them. In rule number two, combining blocks in parallel. If two blocks are there in parallel, don't think that this is a feedback. Feedback is when we take output to input, this is input going to output. So this is not feedback, this is blocks connected in parallel. Suppose think that I am going to give the same input A, okay. I gave the input A, then here it is going to be A multiplied by G2, A multiplied by G2. Here A is going, then A multiplied by G1. This is a summing point, so both output will get added. So A G1 plus A G2 will be my output. Since A is common, I am going to take it outside, then output will be A, G1 plus G2. If two blocks are in parallel, then we can add them, G1 plus G2. I am going to give the same input, okay? I am going to give same input A. Then A multiplied by this block. This block it is G1 plus G2. That should be multiplied by our input. So we get A, G1 plus G2. The same output we are getting. After doing block diagram reduction, it should not affect the input and output. We should get the same input and output after doing block diagram reduction. So when two blocks are there in series, just multiply them. If two blocks are in parallel, just add them. So for all question, first thing that you need to do is to check whether there is a block in par series or there is any block in parallel. Now my third rule, I am going to tell about third rule. If I am going to give the input A here, then A multiplied by G, the output is going to be AG. Think that I have a branch in my input. I have a branch here. And what will be my branch output? This is A. So my branch output will be A itself. Now I am going to move this branch from this input to output. That means I am going to move my branch point. This is my branch point. I am going to move this branch point after the block. This is my block. I am going to move this branch point after the block. So I am going to place it here. So here my output it is this is a ag is the output so the output of this branch will be ag because it is in this line in this line the output it is ag so here the output it is ag but my output it is a when you do block diagram reduction it should not affect the output or input here i am getting output a but here i am getting output ag so i need to can remove this g for removing this g i will place a block 1 by g in this branch then here it is ag ag then it will be multiplied by 1 by g and g and g will be cancelled we will get a as the output so i will get a as the output here also a here also a now i am going to discuss about fourth rule for this block i am going to give an input a then the output will be a g now think that i am having a branch at the output okay then what will be the output of this branch this line it is a g so output it will be a g itself now think that I am going to move this branch before the block. This is my block. I am going to move this branch point. This is my branch point. I am going to move this branch point before the block. That means here. Then what will be my output? This line it is A. So my output it will be A. But I need output as AG. So what should I do? I should put a block G here. When I place G here, then I am going to check my output. This line it is A. So A multiplied by G it is going to be AG. So here also AG, here also AG. Same output I am getting. So when you are moving a branch point after the block, you should multiply with 1 by G in that branch. 
when you are moving a branch point before the block you should multiply with g in that branch after 1 by g before g now i have a summing point okay this is my block i have a summing point when will be there a summing point when you have two inputs this is my input a and this is my input b after summing point this is a summer so input get added a plus b so here it will be a plus b the output it will be a plus b multiplied by g so a plus b multiplied by g it will be a g plus b g now i am going to move my summing point after the block so here the summing point is before the block i am going to move the summing point after the block so from here i am going to place it here for summing point there will be two input this is my input a and this is my input b a multiplied by g it will be a g then here it is b so summing point it will get added a g plus our b so here the output it is a g plus b but here the output it is a g plus b g so i need to get b g for that purpose i will introduce a block g in this branch now here it will be b g so a g plus b g so we will get the same output a g plus b g here also a g plus b g now in rule number 6 i am going to move my summing point before the block so think that i have a block then there is a summing point after the block then summing point means there will be two input a and b so a multiplied by g it will be a g and here it is b so the out output it is going to be a g plus b so from this point i am going to move my summing point before the block i am going to place it here from output i am going to keep it in the input side okay the inputs are a and b you can check our output here it is summing so a will get added with b and it will be multiplied by g so it will be a plus b multiplied by g the output will be a g plus opening the bracket a g plus b g but we need only a g plus b as the output so we need to remove this g for that purpose we will introduce a block 1 by g in this branch now the output it is going to be a then here it is b multiplied by 1 by g so it will be b by g now in the adder it will be a plus b by g it is getting multiplied by our g block then it will be a multiplied by g it will be a g b by g multiplied by g g and g will get cancelled we will get a g plus b as the output here also a g plus b here also a g plus b when you move a summing point after the block you need to multiply with g when you move a summing point before the block you need to multiply with 1 by g in that branch in rule number 7 we are going to interchange summing point so there are two summing points okay so here the input it is a and b here the input it is c so after the summing point it will get added a plus b a plus b after the summing point here it is negative so a plus b then here it is minus c so the output it is going to be a plus b minus c we are going to interchange summing point that means we are going to place this summing point here and this summing point here i am going to place this summing point here so it is plus and minus plus and minus here it is plus and plus i am going to place the summing point here so plus and plus i interchanged the summing point the inputs are a for minus the input it is c then for plus the input it is b so there are three inputs now you can check here a and here it is minus c so it will be a minus c here it is b so a minus c plus b that is a plus b minus c we are getting the same output here we interchange the summing points this one placed here this one placed here in rule number 8 we are going to split the summing point in this summing point there are three inputs a b and c so the output it is going to be a plus b then this is minus so minus c this single summing point i am going to make it as two summing points okay plus and plus so plus and plus here it is plus and minus plus and minus okay for plus the input it is a and for this plus the input it is b then for minus the input it is c okay after this summing point it will be a plus b a plus b then after this summing point the output it is going to be a plus b then minus c the same output i am getting 
this big summing point can be split into two summing points rule number 9 combining summing points it is just the reverse process when you have two summing points we can combine it and make it as a single summing point here it is plus and plus so it will be plus and plus here it is plus and minus so plus and minus so we made it as a single summing point for plus the input it is a for plus the input it is b and for minus the input it is c so the output we are going to get is a plus b minus c a plus b minus c so same output we are getting this is splitting summing point one summing point we split it into two summing points here we are combining summing points when you have two summing point we will combine it and make it as a single summing point rule number 10 and 11 are the most important rule okay rule number 10 elimination of negative feedback we have a negative feedback what do we mean by feedback taking output to the input so if i am going to give an input r then my output is c suppose think that my output is c then what will be my feedback c multiplied by h it will be ch now here it is r plus r plus then this is minus ch so this plus will become minus r is positive then ch is negative so ch is negative so what will be the output i am going to get r minus ch multiplied by g so you will get the output r minus ch multiplied by g as you can see here c and r minus ch gh are equal both are the output c equal to r minus ch into g now by opening this bracket we can write rg minus ch g so c equal to rg minus ch g here c is common here also there is c so we can bring this to this side so it will become c instead of minus it will become plus ch g equal to rg from this we can take c outside so 1 plus gh equal to rg what do you mean by transfer function output by input that means c by r c by r what is our c so we can write in the form c by r keeping c here keeping c here then r to the denominator then it will be g divided by 1 plus gh so that is our transfer function when there is a negative feedback negative feedback that can be made it into a block like this g divided by 1 plus gh when you have positive feedback positive feedback then it can this block can be replaced as g divided by 1 minus gh when you have negative feedback then 1 plus gh when you have positive feedback 1 minus gh now we can do a problem using this rules in the next video